Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the channel. I am your host, Mortanius. And we are back with some more Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. <clears throat> when we last left off, we had a uh, bore witness to a psychological horror within the Force. And wounded us to such a degree that we ended up destroying our master's lightsaber. Hence us not being able to summon it now. Now we've come to a world known as Ilum. A place where all Jedi for quite a while have acquired their lightsaber crystals. In order to build ourselves a new lightsaber. Time of recording is uh, started at 12 a.m. January 29th, 2024. If you folks like what you see and want to see more of me as we journey further into Ilum, uh, why don't you give me a like, uh, follow, subscribe here on YouTube or both. Drop a comment. Check out some of my other playlists. Share the video around, share the playlist around. Follow the links from my Twitch to get to my YouTube. Follow the links from my YouTube to get to my Twitch. <clears throat> Wherever you folks happen to be, have yourselves a good morning, afternoon, evening, or night. And get comfortable. Let's get into this. Alright. <clears throat> May not have my lightsaber, but I do have the force and my training. Sometimes having a lightsaber makes the Jedi much less than they truly are anyway. The time of the gathering is upon us. Use your skills wisely. But you were supposed to latch onto the wall and then I would start reading. The gathering. Enter the gathering. Younglings come here for the sacred rite of the gathering. A test all Jedi must pass to build their lightsaber. Yes. And gather we shall. Or rather, gather I shall. <laughs> it has been a good long while since the Jedi's walked these frozen tundras. Jedi Temple. It's been a while, but yeah, I remember every Jedi comes here as a kid, or they did when there were Jedi. Hmm, what was that? Okay. Woo, damn. <coughs> That's interesting. Looks like a path I could drop from. Cannot remember if it is. Looks like a way through over there. Now be careful with the ice. Yep. All right. The 
This is the worst blizzard I've ever seen. The storm, the temple. It all feels connected somehow. Well, I mean, this is a planet strong in the force. It stands to reason if the force is in turmoil, places that are sensitive and people that are sensitive will be too, Cal. As we've seen with you so far. Hmm. All right then. Hmm, and that is where I want to go. But not just yet though. Jedi meditated here. He returned at points throughout his life to contemplate his many adventures and trials. Master Marty Cameron. A memorial placed at a meditation site often used by the venerable Jedi Master Marty Bucky Cameron. He returned here many times over the course of his life to reflect on his adventures and achievements. I'm assuming if memory serves, that was a dev who ended up either dying during development or a bit beforehand. Whoa, what was that? Not much ah. to see, is there? I should head back down. My face is going numb. Ice keeps a great many secrets, kid. You live long enough, you'll learn that, even if you don't spend your time around a great deal of ice. All you need to do is watch one, one winter, just one, real winter. Look at how much is covered. Better yet, look in a backyard. Any, any backyard that just has stuff in it. Kid stuff, dog stuff, pool stuff, whatever. Look there for just a bit. Let the weather kick up like this or something, then let it melt. After you see the way it looked when it was just snow and then once the snow is gone, it's just, it's literally a whole other world. Instantly, you learn how easy it is for snow to keep secrets. And we ain't even talk about an entire planet. Not to mention all of the microbes and viruses that are now being thawed out because of uh, ice failing to keep its secrets nowadays because of uh, other planetary issues we're having. Yeah. What you got, little dude? Little dude, little dude, what have you learned for us? Gathering room. The gathering room lies at the entrance to the crystal caves. Used primarily as a meeting area, Jedi Masters brought younglings here for instruction and meditation before they began their sacred search for kyber crystals. It's interesting, they didn't all, they didn't used to be called kyber crystals all around. Kyber crystal used to be a specific type of lightsaber crystal. I want to say it was initially a lightsaber crystal from uh, Legends. But they just decided to turn it all into lightsaber crystals. Uh -huh. Alright. Alright. <clears throat> Figure I'll get warm right here a little bit. 
magnifying window <coughs> built by Jedi masters who constructed the temple on, on Ilum a thousand years ago. This window magnified natural outside light for heat. A beam of intense light generated through the large glass portal was then directed to specific areas of ice that melted under the heat. Yep. Way of keeping people connected to old methods. No real technology, just doors, switches, pulleys, levers. I remember this room. Master Yoda melted that door to let us into the caves. Not with a force. With that crystal. The light passed through it and carried its warmth. I bet we can do it too. Me too. <laughs> hmm. Get over here. That was weird. <clears throat> Even standing there, it shifted the light. That's honestly cool and unusual. Let me see now. I want to say <laughs> try to ignite my lightsaber for light <laughs> light enhancing crystals crystals arranged within the temple enhance light to focus heat on specific areas as the light beam melts the ice, it opens hidden passageways known only to the Jedi. Naturally, considering this is our temple. If others knew, well, it could be problematic. Noise. A statue of a Jedi Master. A statue of a venerable Jedi Master adorns the central chamber leading to the Crystal Caves. <clears throat> Carved hundreds of years ago, it serves as a symbol to the sacred wisdom, enlightenment, and perseverance of the once great Jedi Order. Hmm. Hard to disagree. A little biased, but at the same time, it's kind of hard to avoid it. Jedi devices. Jedi devices were constructed within this ancient temple to control certain conditions 
or activate protected passages. Many such tools exist using basic levers, swivel arms, and rudimentary objects that, when positioned properly, will achieve a specific purpose. <coughs> okay. As I was saying, pulleys, levers, mechanisms, switches, so on and so forth. The huge. Ugh. Yeah. Yeah, you'll never hear me say that word again. All right. Four stems would actually, four health would actually be good. That way, I'm at least getting the max shot. Now, whether it gives me full health, that's a different argument. Let's go, little dude. Hmm. Swimming on an ice planet. All right. <clears throat> so on a scale of zero to where are my testicles? How are we doing there, guy? Oh, thermal vents. Yes, Lord. There they are. Still intact. And warm. Gotta be careful to make sure it ain't chestnuts roasting on an open fire, though. Ilum terrain. Geyser. Volcanic activity on Ilum forms hydrogeological vents of hot water ejected turbulently, often accompanied by steam. These geysers may change in size or duration based upon active volcanic episodes and ongoing mineral deposition. Huh. Makes sense. Something might end up touching the, uh, volcanic, uh, something might end up touching lava and, like, have a severe reaction. Like, literal fuel to a fire. Literal fuel to a literal fire. Tabana. Alright, little dude, what's that, gray? I like that. If it ain't black, white, or gray, then it had better be blue. Okay. I can wear other colors too, but there are certain ones you will never get me to touch. Pink? It's not happening. Red? I'm cool. Green? Eh. I'll tolerate it. Orange? Sure. Yellow? Sure. Cyan. No, that's that's not really a guy kind of color, but yeah, yeah, you know. Interesting. Because I saw another path. Yeah. Each path is different, young one. Be mindful of your anger. Ugh. That's what's known as impatience, children. <laughs> Angry younglings. A pack dropped by a frustrated youngling. Some succeed, but some fail. This one gave in to her anger. So what? Did she not become a Jedi? Or did she become one later? Or did she just... Like, what, what, did she be turned to the dark side at some point? Like, what? A thousand years is kind of a long time frame to pick through to say what happened to somebody and what was going on. Yeah, that's complicated at the best of times. It's freezing up here. That's because you're soaking wet. Just psychological, man. It's calling to me. We must be close. Jedi can't pick any Kyber crystal. It chooses you. 
Yeah, kind of like you. I kind of tolerate that they change that. On the one hand, I do kind of like that they change it to where lightsaber crystals choose you. On the other, I hate it with a passion. The way they have it set up, lightsaber crystals choose you, and then they change their color based on the individual you are. <clears throat> Again, partly cool, but mostly, Very nice. eh. I'd rather just find the crystals the normal way and actually have them be certain colors. You being able to bleed crystals or purify crystals, I do love that concept though. Geodes. Illum is naturally abundant in geological formations found within mineral rich underground rock. Billions of years accumulated mineral matter, uh, billions of years of, accumu of accumulated mi uh, mineral matter deposited from hydrothermal fluids have infused the rock walls with valuable constituents, including rare crystals. Well, not everything that glitters is gold, but. These are some pretty walls. But what uh, little detail can be made out of it? It's, it's, it's interesting. Playing this on my Xbox One, I actually saw more from these walls. Well, either that or earlier on. Just a little shake. It'll be okay. And a couple concussions will be just 17. Yeah. Hope it holds. Do you like raspberries, BD? I like raspberries. I like concussions too. And raspberries. Damn, boy. There's minerals literally everywhere. I actually like that more. You didn't have the whole sort of glint thing. You, it was easier to see crystals, but it was sort of, I don't know, how can I put it? It was more emphasis. It was less emphasis on more detail, whereas this is more emphasis on less detail. You, you, you see the glint that you normally would see from rock, from geodes and whatnot, whereas you didn't have it be this shiny yeah that's one way of putting it <laughs> not exactly a geologist so I <laughs> like most of the wall would look more like this but like how, how the pits are they would actually look more crystalline and bulgish less like a pit and more like a sort of Extending kind of crystals, but ever so small. They might still have them. Call's getting stronger. Let's hurry. They might still have them. I feel like I'm surrounded by ghosts. You are. No, I'm not all right. It's hard to be here. Thanks, buddy. Setting aside everything you've gone through, kid, I keep poking at it. Yo, your, your abilities make you extremely sensitive. Whether you should be or shouldn't be, they make you extremely sensitive. There's no way to avoid it. It's just the way it is, kid. Well, I mean, I guess you could die, but since force ghosts do exist, I mean, maybe not. <laughs> Alright. I see you. Do 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 It's them. How did they find us here? Mm-hmm. Well, we've got company.
come on. You know what I want. You're gonna let this happen there, gang. Come in. See, there you go. Yeah, yeah. What game? <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. Jesus. More health? I mean, it could have been a full bar, but... He was heading into the caves. He called out, but I couldn't find him. What the... Youngling lost. Remains of a camp. A Jedi master was concerned for a youngling that was missing in the caves. Yep. Sometimes they just sort of fall off of existence out here. I don't really know why. Seer, we've got a problem. There are probe droids in the caverns. There's no way they could have put a tracker on us. But I would have said the same about Trilla hijacking your comm. Gleeze and I will search the Mantis. Thanks. I'll be back as soon as I've got my crystal. You're vulnerable out there. Don't take any unnecessary risks. Hear that? Power and control, new lightsaber sleeve. Huh. Yeah, see, it looked more like the way these sections of stone look, but bluer. And ever so slightly more protruding. But it's also been quite a while since I've played it. So, yeah. Huh. Oh. Oh, you want me to get enthusiastic. Oh, never mind. I mean, I can be enthusiastic. I didn't want to be rude and come off like I was trying to be flashy. I'm, I'm RPing a Jedi here. Come on now. <laughs> Whoa! Game! Yeah, that's not... That's interesting. That hitbox ain't completely solid right there. It's more of a beam and less of a... beam... Boulder, I guess. Beam bridge boulder. Yeah, see, more like these. More like these, but along most of the walls. Lighting is obviously helping, but then you get further up. That's it. I can see it shining. Right. What? Okay, I see it. I know. Thank you. Camera control. Again. Thank you. Forward. Let's look. Uh. Whoa. Kyber crystals. Powerful kyber crystals grow naturally on Ilum. One of the rare planets in the galaxy where they may be found. Such crystals resonate with concentrated en energy in a unique manner through the Force, exhibiting a collective consciousness that allows them to communicate with one another and living beings. As part of a Jedi's training, Jedi younglings are sent to crystal caves on Ilum, on the to the crystal caves of Ilum, to mine these crystals in order to construct their own lightsabers. Apparently, lightsaber crystals are sentient. Now, I don't remember if that was something that was a part of the original mythos, but I do actually like that. 
So it ain't just a Jedi. It's actually doing battle. It's also your lightsaber itself. Begs into question, can your lightsaber fight for itself? We've seen instances of the Force being used by other individuals to use their lightsaber. During the Clone Wars, the, uh, most anim the original animated Clone Wars series, Master Windu uh, just exhibited this before. But it was almost like an instinctive reflex for his lightsaber to be summoned. But can the lightsaber, since its crystal is sentient, fight if need be? And if they could, would it? Hard to say. Yeah, yeah. That's too bad, kid. You you realize you're gonna have to be slowing down, cause uh, you move through these tunnels kind of quickly at these temperatures. All right. What the? It's through there. I can feel it. We're almost out of here. I promise. Well, we gotta get out of here then. We gotta get out. We gotta get out of here. I know you claustrophobic folks is probably just going Nobody through it right there. BD! BD, don't come any closer. Come closer! <laughs> Ooh. You know it's getting cold. Hey, you gonna pass out? I'm still in control of you. Failure's not the end, my friend. The time's come. This may be the last you see of me. I can sense the doom of the Jedi Order is upon us. <laughs> no! 
failure is not the end. It is a necessary part of the path. Hope will always survive in those who continue to fight. Like you, BD-1. I believe you will find someone just as brave and persistent as you have been. And you will help them, as you have helped me. But your memory will be completely lost. Are you sure you want to do this? Beginning total memory encryption. Only with a trusted connection will your memories be restored. I believe in you, as I always have. And I believe in whom you choose to replace me. Then young Kestis. There's always a chance. <clears throat> My friend. In his final message, Master Cordova revealed a close connection to BD1, his faithful companion droid. On their many adventures they shared <clears throat> they shared close trust as BD records Cordova's journey and vital knowledge. When they parted ways, BD1 agreed to <clears throat> Whoa, sorry about that. Whoa. When they parted ways, BD-1 agreed to have his memory banks encrypted with this information and be beginning his important mission and saying goodbye to another friend. Hmm. Where the hell was that from? Hmm. Yeah, this is a very... very interesting looking room. Almost makes you wonder what else could have been taking place in it. What you? Okay. And now, we pick. We have access to all the colors now. Uh... Excuse me, um, well, it's interesting, in terms of uniform, or, uh, appearance, rather, couldn't do purple. Lightsaber, though. Sure. <coughs> Jesus. <coughs> Okay, I guess we don't need to see any other construction slash reconstruction of a lightsaber. We just need to suck it up and enjoy the fact that you have one again, huh? Mm. Thanks. <laughs> All 
All right now, I'm back in business, and apparently stronger than ever. Three four split saber. Kyle's lightsaber splits to enable devastating force attacks. Left trigger and X. Let me see now. Reforged. Sia gifted Cal her lightsaber hilt, though her kyber crystal had been sold long ago to pay for Grease's debts. Inside the caves, Cal followed the call of his crystal through a crack in an ice wall. The ice beneath Cal and BD shattered, sending Cal plummeting into icy water. BD saved Cal just in time, but the crystal split in two. That triggered a log from Cordova, re revealing BD sacrifices memories to store logs vital to Cal's quest. Cal combines Seer and J uh, Sears and Jaro's hilts, creating a lightsaber with single, double, and dual wield capabilities. Interesting. Alright. <clears throat> Hope. In the wake of his terrifying experience on Dathomir, Cal travels to Ilum to construct a new lightsaber. With the help of his new master, Seer Junda, he is able to, acquire, to conquer the horror of his past and forge his new Jedi weapon. Cal moves forward. Now determined to complete his mission, let go of his tragic past and choose his own destiny. BD-1 my friend. After a fateful event on Ilum, BD-1 finally retrieves the last of his memories about his old friend Eno Cordova. The recordings BD played for Cal were all logs from private conversations between the droid and Cordova. In a final recording for Cordova, BD shares the moment his memory was frozen to encrypt the secret data about the vault. Hmm. Interesting. Huh. Oh, we didn't read about Night Sister Mary nor the Wanderer for the second thing. Uh, for Night Sister Mary and uh, Malakos unveiled. Mary confronted both Kyle and Malakos, enraged Malakos would ally himself with the Jedi after years of convincing her they were the enemy. I'm surprised he didn't just try and twist that and say, I believe they were, and seeing how he moves and how he feels, I don't believe they are, actually were. Or at least he's not. Seeing proof of Malakos' deception, she uses magic to unleash a horde of undead night sisters to destroy the outsiders. And in terms of the Wanderer, Terran Malakos. The Wanderer is revealed to be Terran Malakos, a former Jedi now in hiding, betrayed by his own troopers during Order 66. He crashed on death in Mir, where he succumbed to darkness and madness. Seeking a return to power, he has manipulated Marin and the Night Brothers in an effort to learn their secrets of magic. It makes me wonder, the Night Brothers have, they seem to just want to be led, so it's not really surprising. But did you actually do anything with the Night Brothers until now? BD-1, this may be the last you see of me. I can sense the doom of the Jedi Order is upon us. I must leave the Holocron behind. If anything happens to me, I trust that another will come to find it. You agreed to guard this secret at the cost of your own memories. I will never forget that sacrifice. I believe in you as I always have. If another Jedi comes to Pagano, you will be their guide. Thank you. Goodbye, my friend. And respect on you, little dude. Respect on you. My name is Jedi Master Eno Cordova. The Pagano Vault constructed by <coughs> Zepho millennia ago, granted me a vision of the Jedi's doom. To preserve the Order, I've hidden a holocron, detailing the names and locations of all known young force sensitives deep within the Vault. To access the holocron, you must seek out the tombs of three great Zepho sages. BD-1 will aid you on your journey. He will be your guide. Hmm. Wonder if this was always up here. I don't think it was. <clears throat> I mean, hell, we had to get all the way up to number seven, so I don't think that was up there. 
And again, not only can we now look at more of our pieces, and as you see, Sears hilt is up there. When the game first dropped, you couldn't remove Sears hilt. So once this point was reached, you were stuck with it. So you basically had to try and find some way to match it up. But if you want to, you can toggle Sears switch on and off, which I will be. No offense to you, Sears. But uh, yeah, I got to. One other thing, though, you now have all the colors. Let me see now. The emitter is Gerald to Paul. Anything I want to do about that? Power and control. Duty and resolve. Eno Cordova. Megas. And Seer Junda. See, her hilt is actually not bad. Looks stable and whatnot. Okay, I'll leave uh, mine alone, hers alone. Double up on the uh, gyro to Paul. Now the switch. Peace and justice. This lighting is useful, but it, it disrupts everything. Yeah, it disrupts everything. You know what? <sighs> what I'll do. Electrum plated. I am not a Jedi Master yet. That's what I'll go for. Nope, chromium. I was gonna say acetron, but chromium. Indigo. Now. We are back ready to get it again, children. This time with a few new tricks up our sleeves. Indeed. X and square to perform a split lightsaber attack requires force. Yep. Nope. Okay. Okay. I need help, bud. Alright. Here we go. Considering I let myself get hit a lot, yeah, it's hard to disagree with you in that instance. I guess I just chose to be a little bit too nice. Fine. He's over here. Because you know how this is gonna go, there, guy. It's our job to trail you. He's too It's just me there, guy. Oh, okay. I mean, I 
Yeah, at least you earn those. Won't be locked for long. Go ahead and handle it, homie. Oh. Lots of y'all. Happy though, so. Nah, I'm good. Stand still. Yes. Charging. Integrity compromised. I just cut through y'all then. Can I get a stem, buddy? That's how I'll escape. Feeling better. I'll be done with you. Let it he popped me one from over by the door. That whole instance here, was designed to, to let you they taken over Ilum. Are you all right? No. They spotted me. And that's not all. They're mining kyber crystals. Captain, prepare for takeoff. Whole instance was designed to let you see and feel what you can do. But I will say this, folks. Difficulty hasn't changed. They haven't softened up at all. You get far enough in the game, you get used to patterns. In other words, no choice but to get good, scrub. <laughs> Empire on Ilum. Empire mining operation. Empire mine Imperial mining operations across uh, scour sites once considered sacred by the Jedi. Devouring the planet's resources for their own corrupt look secret at these agenda. After everything we went through. If by that you mean it's hard to see them being desecrated like this, I agree. Otherwise, look. Enjoy. I think he hates everything. Folks, what y'all think? You know what's so cold about all of this? This planet. I want to be sure if I can actually get over there. I don't know if I should have, though, now that I think about it. This planet. You may have seen it before. Episode. I don't, I don't actually remember which episode it was, but basically, this is, uh. Star Killer Base. Yeah. <laughs> this is <coughs> legitimately Star Killer Base. Want to check it out? Okay, BD. What is it? Duraplast, huh? Found the target. I was wanting to read something. 
Since you want to interrupt somebody. Oh, I know. Okay, I get it. Yeah, I know. There's no point. It's the it's the door with the mix. The mix are over there. <clears throat> Imperial machinery. Imperial machinery generates power and controls interior temperatures of their industrial operations by harnessing geothermal energy from the planet's core. The process results in harmful byproducts and is highly destructive to the pristine ecosystem. Oh, give it time. There'll be a great deal that's going to be destructive to this planet's ecosystem. And by that you mean the adversary was nice enough to show you? Sure. I don't disagree. Mm, Jesus Christ, excuse me. No. Just no. I feel like I just stumbled upon the three stooges. Time to go back to death, Amir. Sure did. not to love that perfect dodge especially once you get back used to it it hit just right oh Enemy above. let's take him on yeah let's do that Oh uh, yeah? Right behind me? Keep stopping my attacks. <laughs> oh, yeah. Woo. Okay. Well, help, bud. He's recovering. What do we do? Die. Oh. 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 Dorstim. I'll be seeing you in a minute there, guy. What the? Wasn't even gonna go that route, but fine. good benchmark to fight to remind yourself of what you can do
Hell yeah. in between them, boy. Disguising the mantis's signal. That trick only works if they're not expecting it. I have another idea. All right now. I'll see y'all in a bit. Time to freeze these balls off again. Yeah. That ever so slight crack in the in the ice slash the stone. You imagine being stuck in there? Nope, this ain't the way. This ain't the way. I've sliced through their encryption. I'm scrambling transmissions, but it won't be long before they're restored. Hopefully it'll buy us some time. Thank you. There's stormtroopers everywhere. Ilum was our planet, Cal. Don't let them forget that. Oh. I won't. Oh, that's a mistake I made. I need to go back. <clears throat> or did I? Hold on. Yes, I did. Shit. Jabbing upward. I've never heard it say that. Yeah, and that's because you can't. <laughs> Not any real running. You have a short sprint. I do believe this should take me the shortest path anyway. Yeah. Seer, I remember the wonder of these caves. How I couldn't wait to complete my training and become a Jedi Knight. That's all gone now. The Order is gone, but the dream of what it represented still lives on in us, Cal. We can rebuild it if we find Cordoba's holocron. Well said. Don't actually need this as a heal point. Just need it as a reference in case something go wrong in there. It shouldn't, but you know. Hope for the best, plan for the worst. One second. Okay. Get him. 
Taste it. Beautiful, beautiful. serves around here. BD? Most frustrating. And then about 17 miles worth of tunnels collapsed in on themselves for some mysterious reason. Yes, sir. Of your emotions, young one. But master, this is easy. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Youngling pride. This bag belonged to a Jedi master who tried to provide a youngling with wisdom. Yes. See, and this is more how I meant it. Easier to see it this way, with how the light actually does. Now there's obviously some ice that'll sort of catch light in a certain way, but I think that I think that's outright like four crystal sections just covered in ice. Okay. Now we can go. Guess I'm going the long way. Kind of. Enemy spotted. What the? Get out of there. Get out of there. No, 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 no. Watch out, or you'll be eh. next. Why, 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 why would you do that, game? I make them bars lift up. It's the Jedi. It's the oh my god. Gotta get this last swipe of this in, don't they? <laughs>
they can't help themselves, boy. And I can't help myself making them pay for it. Are you mad at me? You should have been smarter with your own technique. I've got to complete it. I've got to. The Emperor says so. Okay. The Inquisitorious is how we do things. Alright. And how it has to happen. Cool. <laughs> Of course you fuckers would break down the wall. Shut up. What? Hey, she's talking to you. Right here, bud. You're definitely dead with two of them. Yep. Yep. Hmm. Sounds about right. It sounds about right. Yes, indeed. Ah, back to normal. The rookie could have saved your lives. See something? Enemy located. Get me ah! Ah! The rookie knew what was up. Fifty bucks he sensed his own disturbance in the force and was like, they Sir. Reinforcements. <laughs> Every star Ooh. destroyer in the sector is on their way here. If they get here before you do. No, we didn't come all this way to get captured. I'll be there. No, we didn't. Now, where are... Okay, so you are up there. I couldn't remember. Little bit irksome, but that's fine. What the... Setting aside some of the other stuff to do on some of the other planets, we are, uh, just like Subnautica, we're getting pretty close to the end here. When I really think about it, I really do hope they do add, uh, add more to these series, though, especially since, I mean, there's obviously going to be a third game in the Jedi series. I'm all for it, but the memory service, the devs actually said something about that recently, and I'm all for it, but I wish they'd go back to, like, a lot of the older Star Wars games. Star Wars, Jedi Academy, Jedi Outcast, update those, remaster, remake those. I play them all day, especially Academy. Just need to know, don't you? Interestingly enough... There was a game called Star Wars Obi-Wan. Companionero. <laughs> it actually was not too bad of a game if you knew how to, like... I, I've effectively discovered the only real way to play a game is to kick its difficulty up. You don't have to go on the hardest difficulty, just kick it up, and that's the only real way to experience any game properly. Definitely worth the climb. When I saw it for Most the first definitely. time, I was almost as small as you. Not nearly as brave, though. Ooh. 
out right now. Only issue I have is that I can't just get down from here. I have to go the long way. Now, what I might be able to do, we'll see. Yeah, yeah. But it's kind of a large gap, so I doubt it. Oh, uh, uh, oh, I mean, hey, I'm down. All according to plan. All according to plan. Right. It's okay, so that was the only one. Yeah, this whole area is completely explored. Cool. What the? No consequence to me, I wanted to get up close and personal. You have the dual blade out, double blade out, so you could, you know, throw it. Oh, that almost killed me. That would have pissed me off. Get over her. Uh, I mean, uh, my emotions are a little too volatile at this moment. I, I need to leave to recenter myself. I have no idea why that officer fell on my lightsaber so vehemently, repeatedly, as if there were prior issues. No idea. You did it. We did. I wouldn't be here without all of you. I used. To Slow it down. That's just that's too far. Let's hear all of it. And I want to hear all of it after I read this. <laughs> The escape. On their way out of the caves, Cal discovered an, a massive Imperial mining operation on Ilum, designed to extract the planet's kyber crystals. As Cal and BD fought their way back to, to the Mantis, Seer used Trilla's trick from Mictrel's tomb to prevent the Empire from calling reinforcements. The Empire revi eventually reversed the slice, but it gave Cal and BD enough time to get back to the Mantis. Now, with his new lightsaber, with, with his lightsaber reforged, Cal must return to Dathomir and face the dark side I once sit on again. Rock, I dreaming about storming Coruscant with survivors from the Jedi Council. Instead, the Order's hopes rest on a gambler, a fallen Jedi, and a failed Padawan. A bunch of screw-ups. You can say that again. But he's the only reliable one. He let Cordova wipe his memory so he could stay behind and guide us. But you're both willing to sacrifice everything keep going even when it seems impossible failures a part of the journey 
I get that now. Thank you. All of you. Glad you get that now, kid. That's rarely a lesson that most people learn. Failure is hard. That's the point of failure. It ain't supposed to be easy. It's never supposed to be a comfortable feeling. But that is failure. There's a few things I want to go back to do. Gano it is. Few things I'm not overly concerned Please, about. What did you cook? It smells awful. Nothing. Look, I'm telling you, I think there's something going on with the manis. Maybe the kid drank something in. You sure it's not your food? Listen, I know what my food smells like, and it ain't that. I've also been finding hair all over the place. Small and wiry. <laughs> like yours? No, not like mine, smaller. I'm telling you, it's a clue. There's a stowaway on this ship, and I am gonna prove it. Yeah, you've mentioned that before. Any luck? Do I ever have any luck? Of course not. I'll be keeping an eye on <laughs> Damn. everything. If you have any leads, let me know. Sure thing. Man knows his, his opportunities, right, yet he still used to gamble. <laughs> Damn, dude. Did you try to gamble to somehow gain luck? Because, wow, wow, wow. All right. Already off the ship, huh? I guess I needed a nap. Anything to say, monster? All right. You're just gonna give me that random side eye of yours, huh? That was right here. <laughs> That's funny. Like, I could come over here for a reason, but I could not remember what. Ooh, here's hoping this is the right side. Oh, yep. That's funny. I forgot this was right here. You never fail to amaze me, buddy. New paint job, Republic. Hey, hey. Now, oh, why are you scanning balls all the time, BD? Curious artist. My friend, I've unearthed a curious artifact. An ancient sphere capable of storing and conducting massive amounts of energy. Whatever civilization crafted this must be the same that created the seemingly impenetrable structure nearby. I believe studying this sphere may yield the information I need to discover who they were and why they built such a landmark. I find it interesting that you have to wait until you get access to force pull to actually get up here. But, it happens. It's just the way it is. My friend, you have no idea the things I've seen and the balls I've tripped. This galaxy is a wondrous place. Actually, no, I'll save that one.
Alright. Catch you folks later on, little dudes. game immediately and I'm dead I should have just froze him and then tried to heal <laughs> that's why I didn't want to use that save point because there's no point this save point is better this might actually be a little risky might actually be doing these for a bit there's a few of these I left on a few planets this one Zepho I'm like block oh shit There we go. I know what you can do. And you can block Ogdo Bogdo. Ogdo Bogdo. Sever the tongue with a combination of the force and lightsaber attacks. Highly aggressive, tremendous speed, powerful stamina, and lightsaber resistance. The rare Ogdo Bogdo is a fiendishly formidable abomination, even deadlier than its common relative. The hyper-aggressive predator attacks with tenacity, constantly maneuvering toward its prey to inflict greater injury at close range. The creature's speed and stamina are unmatched, making it difficult to parry or strike its lightsaber resistance shell straight on. Yes. We did it, though. We did it, though. What is it, BD? That one on Zepho is going to be a bitch. Oh, my God. I'd honestly rather face the one on Dathomir. Where Boggling was killed. Is it trying to defend its family? Against Ogdo Bogdo, huh? Well, respect on it. This Boggling fought back against an Ogdo. Desperately trying to protect his family. Yeah. Yeah. Don't know if I'll keep this lightsaber color. I like it, but... You know. Okay. Next stop is... Ooh. Okay. That is... Weird. Well, I guess next stop is Zepho. For the next one. Though I honestly don't know if I'll be finishing that one this episode. Hell, dangerous as that thing is, we'll see how long it takes. Computer protocol. 
protocol at the Jedi Academy, Academy was searching the galaxy for force sensors. Old Republic networks and independent systems were less secure, of course. Now the Imperial network controls everything. There's nothing you can't fight, though, right? right? For what we need? Yes. It's not easy. When I escaped from interrogation, I stole some code clearances. They change them regularly, but with a little skill and luck, I figure out what's coming and where to patch in. Impressive. The trick is to cover your tracks so they don't know you're listening. Still, impressive. We're about to drop and out extremely of useful. You two up to over here. Not now. Uh, I need to find uh, hell. Okay. Look out for it, Judge. Okay. From what I've heard, this place still has Imperial relativity. Can't serve it. Yes, that was just from me walking up close to her. Okay. Through the caves, back to the where the Venator was. Enjoy your breakfast, lunch, or dinner, kids. Trust me, you don't want this steak. It'll turn you into pork chops. life couldn't be a bad choice next one I want to say is uh, probably gonna be a max force upgrade but we'll see You did it! Yay! Exterminate it! I told you you could do it. What the? Oh. I didn't stop it in time. So I ran smack into it. Kneecapped myself. No, you won't. I'll give it a attempt or two just in case. After it though, I'll probably be calling it an episode, folks. Interesting. Oh, 
Okay. Where'd he go? That wasn't clickable. Damn it. Hate when that happens. I really do. Still, it's weird. I don't know where that Yotaz went. Hope it ain't in here. Oh shit. That explains it. I never fought one of them in here. Wow. Bad friend. Yeah, well, friend was bad. And not in a good kind of way. Kiata. Yep. Clone Commander. Venator Wreck. Forgot I could have found this early. All I would have had to have done was punch a hole into that. Wouldn't have entirely mattered, but I wonder if I would have been calling her by her name once I had actually made my way into the Venator. of a Jedi, the Jedi. Oh, shit. You have to wonder how it got in here, and is it stuck? I'll come back for you. trying to do that. What? Oh. In charge. Nah, I don't. I don't need to. I need the door open. Oh, really? I shouldn't even have been in the explosive range. Let alone lost that much. starts there. 
I guess not. Opens the turbo lift. That's alright. That's okay. I think that thing walked into the elevator. Cause I can still hear it. Sounds about right. The attack. There was a battle aboard the ship, forcing it to fall out of hyperspace and crash on the planet. Maybe not, because he's just saying there were survivors. He's not talking about names and all of that. Transmission the clone commander and Jedi Master survived the crash, but her Padawan was missing. Let's go, BD. Ooh. Okay. Oh, and I started in a deficit. Right here, buddy. Heal, you fool. That is the easiest time I've ever had of this thing. Good lord. Rabbit Yotas is down. Strong but slow, strike after dodging any attack. Rapid strikes and or unconventional attacks will enrage and confuse the creature. Confuse the creature. Well, now I gotta try the third one. The rabid Yotas is a violent diseased berserker capable of inflicting critical damage on anything within range. This super aggressive beast is able to strike with an extra powerful flurry, swinging its arms with extended reach. Despite its horrific condition, its thick hide provides armor-like resistance, although some areas along the abdomen may be vulnerable. May be vulnerable. Vulnerability. I need you to hold still, Lucy. There we go. Thing has just been sitting there rotating for years. Providing dirty ship air. <laughs> Out in 
into a world that already has enough problems. Okay. And again, I don't know what that sound is. I don't know if it's an audio thing. I don't know if it's because I'm streaming. I don't know if it's just the optimization to the console. I just know it's irritating. I didn't expect it to, but the door is open. <laughs> door usually ain't open once you get up there. Shuts right after you. You have to start over. <clears throat> Alright. No. I'm escaping you. <laughs> hey, don't you try to escape me. Don't don't you eat that cookie. Put, put it don't you don't you make that face at me. Don't you do it. Don't make me come over there. Not trying to block. Whoa. Block was locked for some reason. It outright had a lock on itself. I had to hit it again in order to actually disengage. That was that's the first time this ever happened. Okay. Oh, we got you back. So yeah, it'll probably be one, maybe two more episodes of this. Maybe the Haxian brood will come and find us. Are you both still mad at me? The Grease guy? Mad isn't the word I'd use. Hey, you gotta admit, though, I paid you back in thrills. How many slubs get on the Haxian brood's most wanted list, huh? If you weren't such a good pilot, I'd hand you over myself. Better keep your skills up, Greasy. 
Hmm. Yeah. Help out there but. Want to join me. What? Why would I ever do that? No, 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 no. I'm not going out there. What do you <laughs> want? It took now? years from that old man. Nothing. Just kidding. Well, I'm glad my fear of a painful death by zombie witches makes you a little bit more at ease. Now hurry up and let's get out of here. Just took years from that old man. I'm scared as you were before. That's because for a brief moment I got out of where we were. But thank, thank you so much for reminding me, Cal. No problem. How are you doing? <laughs> Being back here and all. I'm ready for it. I do this. Hey, hey, if you have asked me, Cal, I know, I know you can. Thanks, thanks, buddy. <laughs> yeah, all right. Now quit teasing me about how afraid I am in this place. Leave me the hell alone. Go on, do something. He really did, boy. Well said. He was different. He didn't study anything other than Jedi teachings, but he knew a lot about strategy and combat. My master was a fierce warrior like yours, but he taught me courage. I was never intended to face danger. His master's taught me courage, courage, their strict discipline. Every, every master trains their Padawan in their own way. For Dodoba encouraged me to wander and explore and always question my surroundings. Sounds, sounds like he trusted you. Trust blind faith. As time went on, I found myself more interested in experiences, in friendship, bonds, music, new ideas and innovations. It made me better able to adapt to change. Hmm. I can agree with that. Nobody says the Jedi cutting himself off from everything is a good idea. Most of what we cut ourselves off from, to an extent, is wise, but to others it can be a little excessive. To other extents it can be a little excessive. You will not hear me say it's not. And now we've got access to those little bridges now so we don't have to take that whole long ass path. And we're still doing with witches. Yep. Still dealing with witches. Ooh. I ain't got time for you. We're most definitely not. I don't deal with swarmers. I just don't. Alright, I guess swarmers don't deal with me either. Huh? Alright. Is that? Oh, son of a bitch. I'm not in the mood to be dealing with y'all. I have other priorities there, guy. Oh, shit. I don't care what you gotta fix on. I gotta fix on a target. It ain't got nothing to do with you. Alright. Wanted to use that force since I was gonna be forced to heal anyway. Because of that weird hashing brood crap. Now, BD. Damn it, didn't mean to use that. I'm not seeing the health bar. He's dead. And that's all of this game's alpha creatures. Nidak Alpha. Powerful limbs cannot be severed. Defense against multiple parries. 
The highly dangerous Nidek Alpha is a reclusive yet relentless beast. Dominant over its lesser kind, the car this carnivorous Alpha Predator usually balances strength and intelligence to defend against multiple parries. Its muscular forearms are reinforced with a resistant hide over hardened, nutrient-enriched bone, making them versatile to climbing, asymmetrical traversal, and unable to be severed. Yeah. So there's that problem. Having been dealt with. Hmm. You know what? Hey, it's our mark. He's on the move. You can't stop them all. You sure you're a Jedi? Oh, shit. Oh, oh. He's now, BD. What? I said heal, BD. I figured I'd go ahead and cut through them, get in there, and get to the save point. Here's hoping they're still over there. I actually do want them to still be over there. Uh, ladies, ladies, come on now. I'm more, I'm more or less a one-woman man. I mean, I don't take issue with it, but you know. All things in moderation. We should have a conversation if this is what we're going to be doing. And once we do, I don't want to hear nothing about buyer's remorse. Ah, oh, so they are gone. Damn. I was I was really hoping they would stick around. It's fine, though. Back again. Well, folks, it's gonna be the end of episode 11 of Star Wars. Uh, sorry, 11 of Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. If you folks like what you see and want to see more of me, give me a like, follow, subscribe here on YouTube or both. Drop a comment. Check out some of the other playlists. Share the video around. Share the playlists around. Follow the links on my Twitch to get to my YouTube. Follow the links on my YouTube to get to my Twitch. And wherever you folks happen to be, have yourselves a good morning, afternoon, evening, or night. And God bless you.